Hello, welcome back. This is episode two now uh, for our little summer kids culinary classes. And so I just wanted to throw in what we're doing today. So we're making a cute little personal size pizza, a veggie, actually no meat. Sorry, guys, no meat. And then we're going to make some uh, broccoli, Korean fried chicken. I know I'm vegetarian today, honey. We're going all in with the veggies. And we are also going to just chop up some potatoes and make some french fries. So I just wanted to throw this out there for our lovely teenagers and uh, some of our young ones too who like to cook and they are exploring and they want to know like, well, what can I make this summer? So stay tuned. We'll be stepping you through all the whole process of what we did. All right. And here we just have a cup of masa or well, masaka. So when in Mexico, you have to pick up what you need. So yeah, we just have some mas right here, just one cup. And then I measured out a half cup of water, half cup of water, and we're gonna slowly add that into the mas, uh, the masaka, sorry, and just slowly let that form into a nice little ball, okay? So you see how it's coming together little by little. I don't know what just happened to my spatula. I cannot find it, so that's okay. But yeah, so we're gonna add a little more water, just a little bit more. All right, and stir that on in. Okay, so it's coming together a little bit there. So we're gonna just keep blending this in. May not need the whole half cup, but I will be back. This is how it looks, so we definitely need some more water. So I'm going to measure out another half cup of water and just slowly add as well because uh, this little bit of water that was left, yeah, we need some more. Yep. Okay, and you see how it's coming together now. So a little bit over half a cup of water is needed, about three-fourths cup, I'll say, but just slowly let it come together. So then it's not too wet, so it'll definitely um, firm up as your pizza dough. Because this is basically going to be our pizza dough. That's it. Real simple. So a lot of my gluten-free people out there, I'm looking out for you. Okay, so it came together. So I'm going to say that's three-fourths cups um, of water. It's a little soft, but that's good. It's all right. I don't need it super dry, so I could spread it out in the pan. So this came out really well, little. Definitely wanna to try to show you the consistency. You hit, see how that just kind of falls apart? That's what you need right there. So we're gonna roll all this into a cute little ball and then we're gonna to go to our pan. Okay, so we're coming over to our pan. It's on low, I believe, yep, on low. We have our little masa ball and we're gonna spread it out in the pan. It's best to spread it out in the pan. I tried to do it before with, you know, pre-spreading and all that. Nope, didn't work. So take your pan on low and just take your fingers and spread it out. So keep the pan on low. So that's really it. The masaka and about three, a cup of masaka, three-fourths cup of water, slowly mixing it in. And now we're literally putting this in and we're working from the middle on out. So you see how we're just pushing it from the middle on out. So you can see that, sorry guys. This is no professional, this is real deal home cooking. Um, <laughs> made simple. So we're gonna push that on out. All right, and now we're rolling on up the sides. See how we're doing that? Just flattening it as much as you can, but keeping it consistent. All right, so just do what you can. Some people like a little more crust. I hate that this pan is horrible, but it's okay. All right, there we go. Hopefully there won't be so much noise between the party next door and my lovely country. All right, so let's keep going. All right, so we have our middle pretty much worked out. And you'll feel a little heat in between your fingers. That's okay. 
that's okay. You're not, you know, you're not burning anything. You're not burning yourself. So, yeah, let's just get all that. No oil in the pan. Let me make that clear. No oil. Literally no oil. So it's almost like making a big old tortilla. If you've had corn tortillas or, you know, masaka tortillas, this is pretty much it. This is very comfortable for me. All right. And then the only thing I do is I space it out just like that. So I just try to make it how I, my consistency, what I like my little pizza dough to be. Um, and then we're going to put some fork holes in it. All right, I'm going to space that out a little bit. I'm going to put some fork holes in it now. Oh, where did I do my fork? Oh, my goodness. Okay, sorry. I'm going to put some fork holes in it so we can let that get done. And we're mainly doing it in the middle. Don't have to worry about the end, but the middle. So a few fork holes so that heat escapes. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let that stay on low. You can see some of that heat coming out. Wonderful. Let it stay on low. This is going to take about, I would say, check it at about 12 to 15 minutes. So let's do 11 to 13 minutes. 11 to 13 minutes, check it, and then... But in between that time, we're going straight to the blender. We're doing our sauce and everything. So hold tight. Okay, so for our sauce, um, for our tomato sauce, we literally have one tomato, um, which, I don't know, just one tomato. And then about a half cup of onion chopped. And I'm using four cloves of garlic. And we're going to throw in a little uh, oregano. So I'm going to try to turn this around and show it to you all. All right. So this is what we have here. So we have our one tomato chopped up. I took some of the little skin off because this was an older tomato, but I don't like to waste anything in my kitchen. And then this is just one clove. This is about, what, third cup to a half cup of onion. And then uh, we're basically busting this clove open just like this with your knife. And you hit it. And then you get it kind of open like that. And that's how it works. And you just peel the skin off and put it over to the side. So let me do that because I don't have a cameraman, so I have to do all this. <laughs> all right, so we're done with all that. And spoiler alert, I'm sorry, I'm going to have, I just thought about it. I made the Korean sauce ahead of time. Um, so I'm going to have to go ahead and give you the ingredients for that and let you mix that up and blend it on your own. So literally, I made the Korean sauce and I'm throwing all my tomato and stuff in the same thing because I don't mind having a little spiciness in my tomato sauce for my pizza. And this is how our our pizza dough is starting to look. It's starting to kind of sit up a little bit. It's not as soft, but once we add the sauce to it and cook it on here as well, it'll soften this up. So it'll really, really make it taste like that doughy kind of flavor in pizza that you get. All right, so hang in there. We're almost done. I can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry. So we're throwing all our tomato our onion and our garlic in here. And we're gonna add a little oregano, okay? Just a little bit. And we're gonna blend that all up. I would say two tablespoons of oregano. There we go, keep going. Yeah, I would say two tablespoons of oregano, one tablespoon of salt and pepper. So that's how that's looking. Add your salt and pepper, one tablespoon, and go from there. We're blending. Let's blend. I'm so excited. Let's blend it on up. So let's blend it. All right, our sauce is done. Okay, so we have our sauce. And what I have on the back eye is just literally some vinegar water. Keeps any odors out of the house when you're cooking. So if you don't want the whole house smelling, this is Good. I'll put it to show you. If you can do that to your pizza, you're good. You can get it out the pan like that. You can fly it. All right. That's good. So, but you can really just touch it and tell that it's tight. It's stiff. It's not still soggy. So we're going to go right ahead and put our sauce right on there. We're going to put it in the middle. All right. Spread it on out. Spread. 
All right, we're going to spread this on out. It's going to be a little saucy, but I like sauce. So some people, they may say this is too much sauce. This is great for me. <laughs> Very good. And I think it just definitely gives it more um, of that pizza taste. You know, basically your pizza alternative without buying a pizza, you can make it. I'm a firm believer in what you can make. And it's simple. Everything is simple. You don't have to have a high fire. None of that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let that sit on there. Let that get in. All right. There we go. Poor spatula it broke. All right. So, yeah, we're going to let that sauce sit right there. Let that cook. That's going to take about another five to ten minutes. Seven minutes is, I like to do everything on odd numbers, so seven minutes. While we're waiting on that, we're going to go ahead and chop up our zucchini. So this is a zucchini we have, and we're just going to make small little chops, okay? Zucchini doesn't take long to cook, so that's why I didn't cook it separately. Because really, it'll just, the, small, the smaller we chop it, it'll cook right on up with the sauce. So we're making slices. We're making slices. You can see that. This is totally dangerous. Not something you should do at home, kids. There we go. So we're making slices straight across like that. We'll be back when all that's done. So we have them all stacked up on top of each other, and now we're going to cut them lengthwise. Straight on across. All right. We have all our zucchini cut. And so really, we're just going to glue it right on our sauce, right on top of our sauce. All right. We'll be right back. So we're throwing this right on top of the sauce. These little zucchini strings. Just like that. Let's get those from over there. some more. All right, so we're going to add the rest of these. Okay. Spread them out as much as you can. <laughs> sometimes you can get them in there, sometimes you can't. I like to kind of just throw them all over the place. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to leave those on there. Still have this on low. So we're just going to let that go for a minute. No need to rush it. Next, we're going to chop up our cilantro and get our queso out. I'm using um, a local queso here, which is queso de Oaxaca. So yeah, it's very cheesy. All right, we have our cilantro. We're just gonna go right ahead and chop. Hoping you can see this. But here, I just gather it and I hold my fingers down and chop. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Literally, it does not have to be perfect. All right. And that's really all I'm going to use. Um, in case you want to add some more on top, you can, but this is fine. So I hope you can see that. This is ooh, perfectly fine. That's fine, just like that. So just a little bit, that's fine for the pizza. Here we go. So I picked the cilantro up, put it in my hand, and now we're just gonna Throw it over, sorry, in our pizza as well. Space it out a little bit there. So that's gonna shrink a little bit. Uh oh. And that's 
pretty much it so we got zucchini and cilantro and then our next is just going to be cheese now added to it so it's coming together so right now we're going to add our cheese to it and then if you have like a top or something we're going to cover it and let the cheese melt and that cheese is going to cause that steam and everything once we cover it and that's going to cook the rest of anything else like our zucchini and stuff to help it out all right here we go so i measured out a cup of queso de oaxaca and we're just going to slowly add it because it melts really well <laughs> so we're going to slowly add it and space it out here so we can get all the cheese and all the crevices because that's the best part of any pizza is the cheese like seriously so we're going to slowly pour it and some of my pieces are a little big so i'm going to crumble them up get them in here there we go but whatever cheese you want to use if you want to use mozzarella it's, i've done this with mozzarella i've done this with goat cheese literally uh, which doesn't take long at all um, so yeah this is pretty much it let's add the rest of that cheese space that on out i like cheese and this cheese is going to spread very nicely it's going so that's a good thing so i try to get it in all the little crevices hold that cilantro in there <laughs> So we're back. It's been a lovely seven minutes. Sorry if you can hear my neighbors having a blast next door. So what I'm gonna do, we see our cheese is melted. It's definitely gonna give us some gooeyness going on here. I'm gonna turn this right on off. So my eye is going off, turning that off. No more fire. We're gonna let that sit. I'm gonna let that stay covered to cool down. And that cheese is still going to resonate down in there and melt on. But that's it. Your pizza is done. Let it cool off for a few minutes, please. At least five minutes before you slide it out of the pan. But I'm going to come back and show you that as well, too. So, sorry the noise, guys. I'm in another area. Oh, God. Sorry. Bienvenidos, Mexico. All right, so yeah, I'll be right back to show you how it looks and we're gonna slice it on up and eat it. Pizza has set and we're taking it over to the cutting board. Sliding it on out. There we go. Sorry. Very good, we're done. That's it guys. Uh -oh. Sorry, that's it. So we're gonna cut into this, come back. It's only me, so I gotta shut this off and come back look at that it like it's all smoky and really gooey on the inside Ooh, i'm so excited all right let me cut some more all righty so we have our little three pieces cut here i'm gonna add this to my cute little plate because i'm hungry but this is our pizza this is our pizza and i'm gonna try my best to eat it without breaking my brackets but look at that, that looks delish. Yes, yes. So I have to cut the pizza <laughs> because I can, uh, I'm not going to the dentist on the weekend. So um, yeah, this is me trying my pizza. You see all that in there? Look at that, the sauce, the zucchini, the cilantro, the cheese is amazing. So here we go. Hi, I forgot I got this string in there. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a rubber band. Ah. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Our sauce has a really good flavor. The cilantro. Mmm. And because I left a little Korean barbecue sauce in there, I get a little spice. I like spice. Mmm. -hmm. Bueno, this is good. Because the sauce and the bread, it just really melts into each other really well. So it doesn't feel crunchy. 
but you get like that crust feeling on the end and then the gooeyness in the middle. Oh man, enjoy your summer, yes.